Okay, so I just thought I'd take a minute to share with you something that uh, I really don't have time to share right now, but uh, Google has a patent search function. So if you're looking to see if something exists or you're curious about uh, ways of doing something, uh, basically Google even has the real-time implementation, so you just type in a word, say MP3 player, and you'll get a list of all the different types of patents for MP3 players, or that interact with MP3 players. If you want something for, say, transcranial direct current stimulation, just type in transcranial and direct current stimulation, and you'll get a list of patents for that. So if you're looking for ways to improve something, or you just want to see if something exists, uh, if somebody's thought of it before, uh, maybe you have a great idea and you just want to see if it's been patented yet, it just use the Google patent search and you'll get a whole list of things. Now for me, I'm like excited for the weekend because I've been looking into this transcranial, uh, uh, what's uh, TCDS. So now I have like a gazillion uh, hits on patents of different types of devices. So I can look through them now and see if I can, you know, find ways to improve my own setup. Um, you know, if you're thinking about doing something commercially, you can always do something with that, like just to rule out patent lawsuit or otherwise. Um, and then also take into note that some of these patents are older, so they may actually be uh, no longer protected, which means that they're publicly free. So um, bear that in mind, and uh, you know, it's, it's a cool function I just discovered, so I thought I'd at least get word out and uh, be a voice of uh, amplification on a very good uh, and useful uh, search ability. Much better than searching the uh, US Patent Office, because they don't give as much detail. Uh, it's not as easy. <laughs> Google search function is uh, a little bit better for it.